I'm going to show you five ways to relieve back pain using yoga blocks. I'm Noko. If you are new to my channel, subscribe by clicking the bottom right corner of the screen. Select the little bell so that you get notified every time I publish a new video. Yoga blocks come in different material. This is a foam block. They are very comfortable. They, are, they have soft edges and they are very light. So they are ideal for travel and they are great for what we're going to do today. Foam blocks are much heavier and they are a bit harder on your body. So I like those because when you sweat, they have a great grip and also they are more stable for balancing poses. And then there are the wooden blocks, which I don't like because they are really slippery, they are really hard on your body. The first way you can use your yoga block is to sit on it. If you have back pain, if you have a stiff low back, especially low back pain, you're going to have a hard time keeping a good posture as you sit down. So you may round your back, lean back. Instead, you can just sit on your block. It can be with your legs straight. It can be with your legs crossed. The second way you can use your yoga block is in your child pose. Child pose, you're going to have your knees apart. Place your big toes together. You're going to bring your hips down. Reach your chest down, forehead down. And this is where sometimes we get stuck. So if your head is hanging here, you cannot really relax. Instead, you can use a block. Place your forehead. And relax. Child pose is an amazing position when you have tight low back. Because it relaxes the muscle, it stretches and relaxes the muscle. And it also calms your mind. So rest in your child pose. Deepen your breath and stay for one minute, maybe five minutes also. One more thing about yoga blocks, you can place them on the large surface, okay? This is the more advanced and then this is intermediate and this is beginners, okay? Three levels. I'm going to show you how it works. So here, for example, in your child pose, okay, if your head, this would be first level, okay, where your head is further away from the floor. Second level, your head is closer to the floor. Third level, your head, your head is even closer to the floor. Second option, we're going to do an inversion. We're going to place our block on our sacrum. Sacrum is a flatty bone surface here in our low back, just above the tailbone. I'm going to place the block right here. Lay on your back, lift your hips and scoop the block underneath. And you may have to adjust it so it feels comfortable. What I like to do here is open my feet wide and let my knees collapse against one another. And here again you can relax. This provides a lot of relief for the low back. Deepen your breath. You can close your eyes and hold the position for five minutes. Next option is going to be for the upper back. We're going to place the blocks in a T-shape. We're going to place the head, the back of the head here, and the shoulder blades right here. Let's place them down, okay? This is actually the most comfortable option, the easiest on your back. If you place them on the side, that's a bit more intense. So try first with the blocks flat. Shoulder blades on the bottom block. And we want the head supported. Let me scoop down. can keep your knees bent, can extend your legs. 
This is what we call a heart opener. We open the chest, the shoulders. This provides relief for the upper back and it counters the effect of slouching shoulders. You can also open your arms wide or extend your arms back. When you are done, bend your knees, support your head, pull your belly in and roll onto your side. Our fourth option, we're going to place this between the shoulder blades and just roll side to side to massage the area right here. So if you have tight muscles, you feel like you have something pinched, this can help. So we're going to place just two blocks. Same thing, T formation, but this time it's going to be a bit higher. And you want the bottom block between your shoulder blades. And from here, you can go a bit side to side and move however you want, get deep into the area that feels uncomfortable. And stay in it as long as needed. If you found value to this video, like it, share it, and scroll down to the description. You'll find more resources on other things that I did. Until next time.